Following my last video on installing Remora firmware onto the Novasun NVM controller board, I was contacted by a viewer on, uh, on YouTube asking whether uh, it would be possible to have a Remora firmware version for the EC500. So this is a Novasun Digital Dream EC500 CNC controller board, also Ethernet capable, and it now runs Remora firmware. Currently in beta stage, but it's running Remora firmware and Linux CNC. Now I purchased this EC500 as a three axis version. It's now running Linux CNC full six axis. Full six axes are available. So in comparison, the NVM I purchased as a six axis unit, same price as this EC500 three axis unit. Now this EC500 it is physically bigger, comes in a really, really nice metal case. And I'll now take you through how we're going to flash Remora firmware onto this and what the differences are. To flash the firmware onto the EC500, we don't have to completely remove the, uh, the controller board circuit board from, uh, from the case. When you take the back off the, uh, the controller board, we actually uh, can see here we've got uh, where the pin header is, which I'll show later. Um, I've removed the pin header for, for, the, for demonstrating this, but this is the, the programming port. Now you'll see here it's actually got a total of six pins uh, versus uh, the uh, NVM which had four pins. This is because uh, the boot zero pin and 3.3 volts is provided here as well so that we can actually uh, force the controller board to, to boot uh, out of the normal program because uh, the, uh, one of the programming pins is actually shared with an input so we need to uh, to force the, uh, the, the STM32 to boot into uh, a different RAM region so we can uh, basically get back to the default programming port. Uh, so again we're going to be using um, the ST-Link version 2. Um, now again just a simple ribbon cable and here I've got just a six pin header with a jumper on the last two pins and then we have our ground 3.3 volts, our clock and SDIO. Um, connections available here so basically we can simply insert the pin header in there with no solder and then we can um, we can now plug in the ST link here the computer uh, see that that was on there so I created the Remora Novasun repository up on, on github in the repository we've now got the Remora NVM firmware, uh, the Remora PC500 firmware and now I've also included the uh, Linux CNC configuration files and a separate directory for the firmware. So we're about to flash the EC500 so we can uh, download the EC500 bin file from here. No need to compile it yourself, it's there ready to, to download and to flash. So if we go back to our ST link, we can Go to my local copy of the repository, open the EC500 bin version and you can then program the EC500 with the Remora firmware. There we go, that simple. So this has now taken a three axis EC500 to a fully capable six axis controller running in Linux CNC. So here we have the, uh, the circuit board taken out of the uh, EC500 controller. Uh, now the first thing that I will point out here is the programming port that we're going to use to flash the Remora firmware. So uh, when you first take this out of the, uh, the case for the first time, uh, this pinhead location is not populated so I've added, added that, uh, those pins onto that so to, uh, to connect the ST-Link onto that. So. Um, so we're going to compare this now with uh, the NVM uh, which we looked at in the previous video. So the first thing to note uh, when comparing these two boards is their physical size. Uh, the NVM is uh, significantly smaller uh, in form than the, uh, than the EC500. The first thing, uh, main reason for that really is the, the difference in how the I.O. is connected to each of the two boards. So the, uh, the NVM is using a 3.8mm um, PCB terminal where the EC500 is using a larger Phoenix style pluggable connector at 5mm pitch. 
Uh, there's also a difference in how the, um, some of the IO is configured. So all terminal blocks on the NVEM versus uh, the EC500 which is using DB connectors for, uh, for some of the IO. Now the EC500 does come with um, these DB terminal uh, block uh, modules, uh, so three of those to connect up uh, uh, to use the, uh, the DB IO on the board here. So uh, to get into uh, the, the differences between them at an electronics level, uh, from a a schematic or a circuit um, perspective, the two boards are very, 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 very similar. Um, so Novasun is basically using uh, the same philosophy for uh, for each of the two controller boards. So the NVEM is using an STM F207 running at 120 megahertz, where the uh, EC500 is using an STM F407 running at 168 megahertz. So a slight uh, increase in the clock frequency on, on the EC500. Uh, now, the, uh, the NVEM is using 12 volt IO um, versus 24 volt IO on the EC500. Now, for me, this makes the EC500 more, uh, more attractive because it can use industry standard um, proximity sensors, relays, etc., uh, just as you would if you're uh, connecting an industrial solution onto a PLC. From an IO perspective, uh, both boards have 29 inputs. Um, the EC500 does actually have more outputs available, it's 16 outputs versus uh, the, uh, the 10 outputs available on the NVEM. There's some subtle differences between the two boards as well. Uh, so the EC500 does actually have a slight difference in the isolation and driver circuitry for the outputs. Uh, it has some Darlington uh, transistor drivers to allow it to sync uh, more current on some of the outputs just here. So from a step and direction uh, output perspective, uh, the, uh, the NVEM is basically just using a level shifter to bring up to, to 5 volt outputs where the EC500 uh, does, goes the next step and actually uses uh, differential driver circuitry here. So for each uh, step and direction output on the NVEM it's basically a ground and the two, uh, two outputs for each, uh, each axis step and direction. Uh, where on the NVEM you actually have a differential pair for step and direction. So this would have slightly better noise immunity uh, when driving a stepper driver. Uh, so uh, in a noisy environment like a, like a plasma cutter for example where there's a lot of um, electromagnetic interference, uh, this board will actually be um, more resilient um, with the differential pair drivers. The, uh, the EC500 also has a switch here to, um, to allow uh, the MPG or the, or the manual pulse generator connecting point here to either be used as a, as a standard I.O. for a couple of the pins or to actually switch um, two of those I.O. to an RS232 connection for the NVMPG, uh, which is one thing I'm still trying to get up and running. Works on this one beautifully, uh, but for some reason the circuitry here running at high board rates is not quite working. So, uh, so the beta version of the EC500 Remora firmware uh, not quite working just, uh, just yet. Which brings me to the other difference between uh, the two boards. Uh, now, the YouTube viewer that actually put me onto this board uh, sent me a photo of his board and his uh, version of the EC500 is nearly exactly the same uh, with respect to the, um, the 0 to 10 volt analog output using a PWM to analog chip. So hopefully he's uh, using the, the software fine. This appears to be an earlier version of the EC500 that I got from AliExpress. Uh, it's, it's using a uh, basically an analog driver circuit here with an op amp uh, to, uh, to drive the 0 to 10 volts. Not quite working yet uh, in Remora firmware, uh, but uh, I'm sure we'll get it up and running. So we're back on uh, my Linux CNC computer, which is a Raspberry Pi 4, and um, so we've just flashed the firmware onto the controller board. So uh, the next thing we'll need to do is to um, upload a configuration file to the controller board itself. So again, in uh, the repository, Again, in the repository, I've included in the Linux CNC directory uh, a configuration sample. So there's um, the EC500 basic configuration file. And within this, there's two configuration files which we can uh, upload to the controller board. The basic configuration is what's flashed on the controller board originally and included in part of the, the, the firmware. And then there is a full configuration file here as well. Uh, so this one you can customise to uh, 
for your own installation, so basically taking out the components that you don't need. If you haven't already done so, um, under the Linux CNC there's a components directory and there's the Remora NV component. Uh, just uh, similar to the last video I did on the NVIM, uh, this is the uh, Linux CNC component that communicates with the controller board. I've renamed it to Remora NV rather than Remora Ethernet because it is specific for these Nova Sun uh, controller boards. So back over to, um, to our Linux CNC computer. I've uploaded these those files onto the, um, the Linux CNC machine and what we'll do is we will go into the Remora EC500 component and just as for the NVEM board there is the Python, configura Python uh, script to upload the configuration file. So we're going to run that script from terminal and we're going to upload the full configuration file. So that's uploaded the configuration file and rebooted the controller board. So we can now launch Linux CNC and test that we have working communications and a working configuration. Select the EC500 um, configuration. Sorry, Linux CNC has come out of eStop, so that means we have communication with the controller board running. We can now power on the machine and run the Linux CNC um, splash G code. So uh, we've got a working system now, it's really about uh, connecting stepper drivers and end stops etc and customising the configuration for uh, the controller board and for Linux CNC. So we'll cover those off in another video. Thanks for watching.